Hello, this is a Slendus guide, um, by Plane, uh, or Espesso, whatever the hell people call me nowadays. Um, so, I like to start with a, a stealth, uh, I mean, an AFK eco to like 10 minutes in pubs. Uh, reason for that is because I, um, it's actually more efficient to AFK eco until a certain point. We've tried it. Um, with the better players, but the only uh, the only time you should do this though is you when you believe you're significant, uh, significantly stronger than some of your allies. The reason being for that is you get scanned once, you've wasted you know a few minutes, um, and like you have zero help for your teammates now. It, it's it's really just there if you believe you can solo carry. So the reason I do this is because. Um, the buildings make the paving of the lings very funny. You can put, you can. Uh, it, it typically buys you enough time when you uh, when you get attacked here um, to reinforce the units here, uh, to warp in more, uh, to do some force field shenanigans if necessary, and it gives a little bit of vision. So um, all of these buildings they mess with paving. Uh, I'm not sure why there was a scan there. Um, so I'm looking for more places that aren't controlled on the map. So win winter right now is basically filled up with stuff. I don't see any point in building more stuff there. Um, and I'm, whenever I get the gas, I'm going to upgrade the pro uh, these probes into advanced probes. Our pylon is under attack. So here I'm trying to you know proliferate these kinds of outposts all over the map. And Brack comes out of nowhere. I probably should have tracked where he was before this, but yeah. Running the units back to try to get some experience in Salendis, uh and get some kills. I don't have recall because I got the slow. Um, I'm not. I recall would have probably been the better bet. Move the units over here. Move your Salendis over here. Recall them over here, and you, uh, you save everything. So, I was streaming this game, so Linus was talking about stream sniping, I turned it off at this point, because, I don't know, I don't know if he actually found this eco because of that, or, but, he heads to the top right, and I basically get a few, few units around it soon, just because, in case he did stream snipe, it buys me a little bit of time, uh, making more of these outposts, um, so the idea is you want to go into high uh, high traffic areas. So this would have probably been the ideal spot. This uh, this is fine, but I just wanted to make sure you know Brack doesn't come back immediately. So I moved it slightly further up. Um, uh, yep. All right. So I actually put it here too. So we have several locations. And the power of these outposts are that you can actually make probes from these so and you ha you can move the, uh Solendis has a very cheap vision upgrade so she, she typically can move her units away uh escorting a probe and you can rebuild a pylon somewhere else more of these outposts the idea is to have green all over the map so there there is quite a lot of stuff going on uh other than me, so the Zerg has quite a lot to deal with. So, yep, he's attacking this. Um, so I'm not sure if he's actually sne stream sniping, so at this point... Oh, he actually sees it from the interesting. Oh, he misses it. Okay. So he, he, he probably did stream snipe, but as you can see, there's a bunch of zealots now because he's close. I don't want to risk it. I make more uh, more units. Um, I'm, at this point, I'm watching top right to see if I need to salvage. I probably salvaged unnecessarily, but oh well. We embrace the glory of battle. I see a bunch of links. I don't know if it's from him. It turns out it was just residual links. I. D 
Uh, honestly, I should have tracked that he was going here. And that was an unnecessary salvage, but, yeah, you know, sometimes it's like that. Uh, I'm controlling this space. I'm just going to equal normally with, without stealthing it this time because I don't care. Um, someone's telling me he wants to eco there, but he can find his own spot. I'm, I'm defending this. Remember that outpost? I mean, the, when I said you can build probes from outposts, they can also build eco. So behind this, I'm actually making, uh, I'm, I'm going to start to make some eco here and here. So I want to have out, uh, ecos at at least two locations. So that way I can always have something up. Uh, and when, I'm, when I salvage, I can just hold the Q key on the, the not salvaged one. So using the probes, building another eco. I didn't realize that this was going to stay alive, but honestly, I could have used it. So, when I got scanned here, I started tracking where the Brack was. I, th I think I realized that he was coming here soon. Um, where, where was I looking at this point? Oh, no, I was just... Right, so he, he scanned this, so I figured he's probably going to come here soon. And therefore, I'm gonna make more of my eco here. And therefore, uh, what, when this goes down, I'll have it very. I won't have that much downtime. So. I don't remember where Linus is at this point. Let's see. Our Linus is our forces have met here. The enemy okay. In so I think over at this point, I I recognize where he is, and I make. A colossi over Let here, just so if he goes through the front, I'll blast him from this side, and uh, he's not gonna want to walk back around. Um, I move it back anyway because I just don't have that much marine cells. Um, but yeah, so Lings come as expected. Colossi goes burr. More colossi go burr. At this point, I, I, I figure he probably doesn't want to send more lings here and he's going to bring his hero or some bigger units. If he bigs, uh, brings pigas, I'm going to force field. the uh, force field. Uh, in actuality, I don't have any energy for force fielding, so that plan would have never gone anywhere. But oh, more lings. I just move the Colossi back, I guess. Um, the Zealots are very good for stopping this kind of aggression uh so he makes the uh, corruptors so i uh you know start moving back so at this point i think i i, I think i have uh, i got enough gas for the Let super expert and probius free. and i immediately Base start queuing them up Get a plus 16. We embrace the glory of battle. Uh, and I'm running away because corruptors might be coming. I'm dropping some units behind, the, uh, so that way, I, if their corruptors come, I have some warning beforehand. I don't think they're chasing me down right now, so that's why we I'm not running that frantically. Um, and okay, so Energizer dies. Um, this Solendus is kind of upset because I build stuff next to her eco. I but I mean, honestly, shadows. I'm not gonna... I care more about having more things on the map than a teammate that's probably not gonna do all the most. Uh, so there's a bunch of roaches. I make a Colossi and you're gonna see some really poor micro here. These are two, two roaches. Oh, two, three roaches. And I don't even have the damage upgrade yet. But yeah, well, with some up, uh, you know, <laughs> so, abusing the the aggro. Oh, almost lose my Colossi because I keep microing my Solindus with the, the units. I don't, I'm not sure why. Um, and I noticed that, you know, so I noticed that those roaches were actually going here. 
I made some stalkers uh, to reinforce this. And here I'm planning on making more eco. At this point, I got the probe toolkit upgrade because I'm. It it makes it much easier to eco rather than uh, without it because uh, then you can haphazardly put mineral patches around and then just throw some probes onto it without thinking about it. And the, my goal here is to just control as much of the map as possible. Bot left is obviously controlled. I have some control over here. Um, I'm starting to go to the top left. We embrace the glory of battle. There's a bunch of units coming from uh, Nora now. It's doing quite a lot. I noticed that there's some units here. I lose my Colossi. Oh, I saw that. I lose some stalkers because I wasn't paying attention. So this is running ahead with your Solendus is probably not the best idea against Hydras, but I, I assume there wasn't too many of those left over. Um, rebuild my eco right afterwards, I'm right here. here. In the shadows. Oh. I'm here in the shadows. So, fun thing. Roaches fucking suck against, is under attack. <laughs> you know, micro stalkers. Even if you're not that great at microing, just look at the one that's lo losing a lot of HP. Move. I think at this point I noticed that the probes are still alive. I made one of them into an advanced probe to build a nexus so I can build more Let units here. Uh, but now I, th I think at this point the game is pretty well controlled uh, from my teammates on Research most of the map. Uh, I have we bot left controlled, the they have top right controlled. This is and then I realized that the creep is a little bit too close for my comfort and I start clearing this out. Uh, everyone else is pushing, so that's when I think this is a good time to push with these units because it won't bring more attention to uh, whatever could be down here. Um, and at this point the game's pretty much won. Uh, And I just run around with cannons and pylons uh, for even more map Base control, remembering to put a nexus at every every once in a while, just in case. So if I need to, I can make more. Um, if I, I can make more probes, more photon cannons. And this is this is just haphazardly throwing them around. There's no not much thought behind it anymore. Um, at this point, you probably want to get the Solendus vision upgrades because the the only thing that can really have me lose a game at this point is just getting caught by random corruptors or brutas. Um, so I think I get that soon. Yeah, units. You want you want to light Zerg's map up like a Christmas tree. Um, Let our enemy know our fury. This this playstyle doesn't actually require I too much skill. All you have to Let do is the only thing you really have to do is pay attention to where a hunter I is. Um, it it does scale with skill because you do Let the er, early gameplay where you have a lot of uh, sentries and stalkers. You can. There's a lot you can do in terms of micro to prevent link, uh, your outpost from getting killed. Um, yeah, more. Uh, this is just making this basically just makes uh, doing this basically just make sure that you always will have a, a way. Uh, a way to escape. Um, there's always somewhere you can build units. There's not, like, uh, behind everything, like every nexus could become a full-blown eco again. Uh, and even if they kill all, like 
it makes it very hard for them to kill your teammates even even at this stage of the game just because they have to clear out all all of your map control before they can even know where everything is um yeah so and none of this particularly takes any skill i think um other than you know having some thought process behind what you want to do so as you can, when when I made this eco, it was completely haphazard. Uh, it's even missing pr uh, probes here. Whoops, you know. Um, and I can replicate this kind of eco all over the place. A lot of Salinas players take a very long time to rebuild their eco. Um, but in truth, all you have to do, you know, once you have probe toolkit, throw mineral patches around, and I have way less probes than I have mineral patches here, but yeah, just do that right correctly. You know, there's there's some F2 pushes after I have the cannons because they're you know like any random links are gonna get killed by the uh, cannons anyway, so I no longer care about the pylons or the nexus dying. Um, so sending all my units mid frees up some supply, and th this is. A way to end the game, in my opinion, you just make uh, you just make enough space uh, and breathing room for the rest of your team uh, to go in. Um, you know, occasionally you build this stuff, and then somebody leaves the game because you built next to their cloaked ego over here, <laughs> Salendis. Um, but <laughs> you know, it's y you can kind of just proliferate all throughout the map. Uh, being careful to not get killed by random hydro traps and whatnot. Uh, the vision upgrade on Solendus is very useful. Uh, the vision upgrade for her units is even better. Uh, honestly, the most overpowered upgrade in the game is for 2,500 and 30 minerals. Honestly, the value of it, I would buy it even if it was 4,000 minerals. It's it's extremely good. Um, And yeah, if if you could like see the top left, there there's really not many lings left, right? Like there's a few coming around, but right, like all, all of the yellow is like lings, uh, but there's huge swaths of the map that are just completely empty. Um, and this is because you have map control. Every every player should try to think about how, how they want to continue the game out. And uh, there are several ways to end the game. So one is just control enough of the map that Zerg gets crushed out uh, slowly and surely. That's my playstyle. Another playstyle is just killing Zerg with a bunch of units. Uh, and the, uh, the final pl uh, way you can do it is just push mid, kill all the creep. Right. All right. Hopefully that was helpful.